I'm Michael McQuervy. I'm on the negative side, and today I will be debating how is the promotion of collegiate programs have negatively affected the economy. To start off with, in 2019, the Department of Labor reported 7.6 million skilled labor jobs available, but only 6.5 million skilled workers searching for employment. In this case, what that basically means is there's a surplus of jobs and they don't have workers that are prepared to fill those positions. Therefore, those are just jobs that are empty that aren't being filled at all, and that's hurting our economy. Next, in building trades alone, job growth is much higher than the average. The national average is 0.5%, but just for building jobs, it's 11% annually, and that's significantly higher. And the growth of people filling these jobs is 2.74% nationwide, but in the construction industry alone, it's a lot less lower at 10%. Also, trade school is much less expensive and time consuming than than college, and college students almost always run into problems such as student loans and debt, which often take years to pay off, which can lead to them, which can influence their economic decisions and impact the economy as well. And also, 82% of executives believe the skills gap will impact their ability to meet customer demand. Basically what this means is we have big companies like Apple, Amazon, Google, things like that. They won't be able to fulfill their customer requirements because they don't have people taking care of these jobs because more and more people are being told to go to college and we don't have people filling these jobs. And even though employers are giving more money so these jobs can be filled, there still aren't enough people and these positions aren't being taken care of. Thank you. My name is Tumitamiwa Aishola and I am on the affirmative side. First, early college courses can be ideal for any type of student as they allow the opportunity for earning a few credits or even going all the way to an associate's degree. The education they receive increases productivity and innovation for individuals. It promotes entre entrepreneurship and technological advances. It also plays a very important role in achieving economic and social development. Education enriches the understanding people have of themselves and of the environment. According to the ED, E .d gov. The employment rate, according to e.dgov, the employment rate was highest for young adults with bachelor's or higher degree at 86%. Differences in training levels is a significant factor that separates developed and developing countries. An econom economy's productivity rises as the number of educated workers increase since skilled workers can perform tasks more efficiently. According to Investopedia, the knowledge and skills of workers available labor supply is a key and determinant for both business and economic growth. Industries with higher education and training requirements tend to pay workers higher wages. Having a degree opens up more job opportunities and also allows easier access to get jobs. Having the degree program plays a very important role in achieving economic and social development. Education enriches the understanding people have of themselves and of the environment. Now we will currently take a little bit of time to get our rebuttals together and we will resume with a minute 30 of each giving our rebuttals. Okay, first to start off my rebuttal, I would like to ask a simple question. But first I would like to follow up with some background information. 37% of respondents, which are parents, in the 2015 study reported they would encourage their children to pursue a manufacturing career. With this overflow, of children going to college and getting degrees, how will there be jobs available? What positions would they be able to fill if everybody wants to go to college and get the jobs they're filled? I paused it. Well, Wait. I did. To rebuttal what she said, although there is an overflow of students with degrees, the benefits of having a degree include you can always make more money in whatever job you choose to go to. You can go back to college and get another degree in a field that may be open for a lot of people, and then you can also have a career switch, so maybe work at something else than what your degree is, but you still make more money because you have that degree. And that would be all for my rebuttal. By enrolling in collegiate degree programs, students are able to get their foot into the door to see what field or experience what field they would like to pursue in college. These programs also increase students' chances of receiving scholarships, which could 
eventually pay off their school fees. And although a trade school may be less expensive than a four-year college degrees, degrees open up more op options for students and earns them higher paying jobs. So I have a question for you. What percentage of graduates from trade school earn a well-paying job in the field of their choice? Actually, I don't believe I have the information listed, but trade schools also give the opportunity for them to be much more flexible in their field because certain positions such as being a plumber, a mechanic, different things like that. You can be with different companies and you can kind of work your schedule how you need it to be. And based off of this, you can affect your income. That is the 